Today I will talk about what happened after last week's video, a complete poop storm about what to think and how to do your need in nature. I refer to the leave no trace, but for me it was the literal meaning and common sense, but now I understand it's a big organization. Actually, I never heard of them until last week. Uh, I will talk about the recommendations in Sweden compared to the LNT 7 principles, and I will do my first giveaway. How to participate and how to win, I will talk a little bit about later, so stay tuned for that one. Let's do this. In Sweden we have what we call right of public access, allemansheten in Swedish. It means please visit nature, but don't destroy and don't disturb. That's a big opportunity of course, with a big responsibility. It covers more or less how to behave in nature when riding a bike, when riding a horse, starting a fire, but it doesn't cover the specifics like how to poop or how to leave no trace. For that information I had to look further on and I found the Swedish Friluftsfremjandet. They have made some publications and recommendations in that matter. If we jump back to the organization Leave No Trace, it's a big organization that works worldwide to inform on how to enjoy nature, at the same time protect and preserve it. They work with seven principles and I have to read them on paper because I don't know them by heart. Number one is plan ahead and prepare. Number two, travel and camp on durable surfaces. Number three, dispose of waste properly. Number four, leave what you find. Number five, minimize campfire impacts. Number six, respect wildlife. And number seven, be considerate of other visitors. On the website, they go into the specific details on each of those principles. And that is too much to cover for one video. So I will link to them in the description below for you to read. The reason for this video, as I mentioned in the beginning, was because of last week's video when I told everybody that I left my travel at home just to save weight. There were a lot of misunderstandings and harsh words on Facebook. So today's focus will be when it comes to the seven principles on how to do your need in nature. I will compare the LNT recommendations to our Swedish First up is location. Both LNT and Friluftsfremjandet suggest you to find a remote location with a low risk of detection away from the trail. LNT specifies 200 feet, Friluftsfremjandet does not. LNT also talk a lot about soil and direct sunlight and stuff like that, and it is very specific. Friluftsfremjandet doesn't mention that at all. Both mention that it should be away from a water source. Secondly, you should dig a hole. Friluftsfremjandet doesn't specify how deep. Again, LNT is very more specific and say four to six inches. On the website, that is explained and are due to breaking down the poop. Thirdly, both say you to refill the hole covered with native material so it more or less doesn't show that you have been there. When it comes to the toilet paper, both say you can bury it or bring it with you in a plastic bag. Freelist Feminet also say that you can burn it. LNT says no, that could start a wildfire, so please do not. Like you can see, there are a lot of similarities between these two organizations and the recommendations that they give with some differences, of course. For the exact words and recommendations, just follow the link to the website. Now, after reading the seven principles, and based on your comments and reactions from last week's video, I will from now on try to follow the LNT seven principle guide, but I will not use the trowel. Instead, I will do as two of my fellow poopers out there on Facebook said, you can use a snow peg or a sand peg. This is the MSR blizzard peg and it weighs 27 grams. The blizzard peg is more ergonomically shaped with less sharp edges compared to the deuce. 
I will still be able to save some weight because I will leave two of my spare shepherd hooks at home. Together with the trowel, I will save eight grams. That is not much, of course, but then also I get a multiple use of this one. I can both use it as a spare pig and a trowel. That leads into my first giveaway to pay it forward, so to speak. I will give one of you the juice, unused of course. To participate you just need to be a subscriber and leave a comment down below that you want to win. The winner then will also commit to start using the seven principles. The winner will be chosen from the Nordic region, Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Finland. And the only reason for that is because I don't think that the LNT organization is very well known here and it's a good chance to start spreading a good practice. You have until Monday to participate and the winner will be announced on the next video. That's it for today and thanks for watching and giving me a chance to explain myself after last week's video. I think we all learned something during this debate. Please leave a comment if you have any further questions or comments that you would like to add to the discussion. Hit that like button, subscribe to support the channel and good luck with the giveaway. Bye bye!